I'm Tom Simons, and Dr. Perkins Bull was my grandfather. My grandfather, he adored history, as you know. He spent a great deal of his time thinking about it and researching it and writing it. And I, I think some of this brushed off on me. Grandpa's London home was a convalescent hospital for Canadians and trenches in France. The nurses were all young Canadian women. My mother was one of those and my father was in the Royal Flying Corps and he went to the convalescent hospital and there he met this young nurse, Dorothy Bull. I've been told that it was nicknamed the Perkins Bull Matrimonial Bureau. This was made by my grandfather when he was a teenager. It was from the Hawthorne Hedge, after which the name Hawthorne Lodge. He made two of them. He gave the other one to John A. MacDonald. It's a grand thing, and it's one of my most treasured possessions. I was lucky to spend quite a few times at the family farm at Hawthorne Lodge in Brampton. It was a simply lovely old house, and for, from the point of view of a youngster of six or seven years old, it was uh, full of charm and mystery and adventure. In the case of a country like Canada, it has quite a bit of neat packaging to it in terms of its settlement pattern and its, then its uh, constitutional arrangements. It invites study and attention, and it's very interesting. That was part of his approach to his historical work, his research. He would just get in a car with a helper, and off he'd go. And, is it the communities and the homes that he was writing about? Quite often we would be off looking at a cemetery trying to trace through inscriptions on tombstones. Then I'd make notes while he looked. And one time we were in a cemetery and a person came out. He thought we were grave robbers <laughs> and chased us out of the cemetery. And it was great fun and a great experience and a learning experience and a privilege often to go along with him on these things. I mean, he threw himself into it. History was a personal experience for him and you shared it if you did it with him. I think that it would just have delighted him. His work is so substantial. It's a wonderful legacy and something for the county to be very proud of. And it is indeed and very generous in acknowledging it. I think his contribution is quite extraordinary. At times, people who were not terribly interested in local history, Grandpa's view was that they were the salt of the earth, they were the first layer of the structure of Canadian society, and that Peel embraced that and exemplified it very deeply. He was, he was tremendously fond of Peel and very loyal to him. <laughs>